Okay, another quick feature preview for version 9. This one is going to be covering our cable analysis and planning. Let's start by adding a cable yarding system to this deflection or this profile. Like our previous versions, we'll select which logging system we want to use and then which type of calculation option we'd like it to be based on. Okay, and there it is, our first big improvement as you're going to see to our cable analysis. So we have an interactive plan display, color coded red for no clearance, uh, and green obviously is good. So that's our first big change. Okay, and we can customize this interactive plan display by going up into the plan window options and toggling our cable analysis button. You also have control here of the colors that are being displayed in the plan window for that uh, deflection analysis. So in previous versions, when we wanted to optimize the length of our D-line, we would simply just start to move the D-line around. Now, coming up in version 9, we've got something called Auto Calculate the Tail Station. And this is going to help us set our number for clearance of the full length and adjusting that tail station position. So it sets the number here that will give you just clearance. So it's automatically figuring out where the tail hold should go so that you can have clearance for the full length. Okay, now let's take a look at explore modes. This is one of those new features coming in V9 that we're quite excited about. Uh, within the explore mode dialog, we do select our logging system as well as our calculation option that we want to do perform it with. The explore mode is able to create a whole bunch of D lines all at once. And in this case, we've got it specified to be 12. We can also specify which quadrants we want to have included in our radial section. And as you see here, once we've got it going, we've got a new cursor icon, uh, we simply click and we can start to explore what deflection looks like at that particular point, as well as a polygon of our loggable area contained within the, the deflection lines. And through explore mode, we can try different positions until we're happy with the chosen location. And when we're happy with the spot, we click accept and our 12 deflection lines will be created. And now we want to select one to look at it. So here's another new feature that's coming in version 9. Over in our profile window, we've added this little checkbox uh, to always use the current feature to display it. So it will automatically update your profile window depending on which feature you have selected. Similar to the profile window, with the cable data window, we're also able to set the use the current feature function. And these numbers are applying to the current selected D-line. So to update the table, all we need to do is just select a different D-line and we can read that analysis. And everything updates. So that's really useful for being able to go through now and analyze all of our different cable yarding positions that we were able to create in explore mode. Explore mode, as well as its polygon, are basically just like creating features. Uh, these different D-lines, as well as the polygon itself, can actually be deleted. So we also have some improvements to the UI side of things, in particular with our logging systems and equipment dialogues. Now a logging system is really just a selection of a piece of equipment as well as a logging configuration. So we have a bunch of new dialog box updates here that will just make it a little bit easier and simpler for you to understand as well as to get your setup correct. Additionally, we also have an option for save as default. So once you do have a setup that you're going to use, you're actually able to save this to your hard drive and make it usable for future terrains. So you're not having to reset up your logging systems again. So if you're doing a lot of cable analysis on a variety of projects, this is going to help save a fair amount of time. Up in the ribbon bar, we also have some dynamic info display of the setup, configuration, and calculation details for any given selected deflection line. So as you move around and select different ones, that information is going to dynamically update up there. Finally, just to wrap up this cable analysis improvements, just wanted to show you we do have output sheets. They're still available, uh, as well as we have uh, you know a, a pretty cool looking display in 3D of your towers, as well as your deflection lines. Anyways, that wraps up this feature preview. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy version 9.